News Channel 5's Brian Archer talked to officers working the case and has more on who this guy could be. About 7 o'clock this morning, East Lake Police came across a grim discovery at East 365th Street near Lakeland Avenue. Somebody on that street um, told us that there was an uh, odor in that area. That odor led them to the body of a man found at the end of the street. And that street was one of the areas police had been searching earlier for 20-year-old Joshua Bauman, suspected in a shooting at this nearby Walmart last month. This surveillance video from August 20th shows a man approaching a car and later running away. The victim, a Cleveland man who was shot in the chest, can be seen in the video driving away to a local hospital. A police investigation led them to the East Lake Street where Bauman was staying and nearly caught the suspected shooter. We did get there a short time after he left and we had a, a brief um, foot pursuit of him and he was able to not be captured at that time. The body was found several houses away from the chase scene and police suspect it may be that of Bauman. It was sent to the Cuyahoga County Coroner's Office for testing. This body was outside for, for more than a couple of days, which led to some uh, decomposition. So for, for those factors and the uh, forensic ability of the Cuyahoga County Coroner, they were best suited to handle this case. Dental records and DNA samples from immediate family members were also sent to the coroner's office to help identify the body. For News Channel 5, this is Brian Archer. And Eastlake police hope to know next week if the body is Bauman. In the meantime, they will continue looking for him.